Ah, oh, you know, this snack is one that you can enjoy with anything. hey guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today welcome back to my kitchen oh my gosh i'm so happy so excited about today's recipe today we are going to be making some nigerian meat pie yes if you are from nigeria you already know what i'm talking about but if you're not from nigeria i'll just give you the gist okay so nigerian meat pie is a very very common snack but it is one of the classic classic snacks that we have in nigeria it's one snack that i grew up eating and i absolutely still love it till this very moment okay so yeah it is very very easy to make and of course very very yummy okay so today we are going to be making it together in my kitchen okay if you are new here this is the first time you are joining us oh my goodness you are so so welcome thank you for joining us today my name is nosa girl i make cooking videos i make cleaning cleaning and organizing videos and i also do vlogs about my family you know living here in california so i would love for you to just subscribe and join us right now join what is going on here okay don't waste any time and subscription is free yeah but before we get started before we start making this delicious meat pie there is this beautiful thing i want to show you guys and i am so excited about it all right put your focus on this side <laughs> okay so here is the product i'm gonna bring it out of the box in a moment and show you guys okay uh, but before i do that let me just quickly give you some info that i think you need to know so i was contacted by this company and they wanted me to do a review on one of their products which is what i have here and i have gone through their website they have a bunch of beautiful stuff oh yes they do you know like home appliances trash can water faucet soap dispenser just a lot of stuff that you will need for your home Home and your kitchen yeah and I was so so happy that I got this it is one of the new things that I'm gonna be adding in my kitchen right now so in here is their 13 gallon size eye touchless trash can yes it is not just any type of trash can that you are used to okay this is one thing that you are gonna need in your kitchen by the time by the time I am done telling you about it okay so the first thing I noticed about this trash can is how beautiful and how gorgeous it is. And it's also very, very easy to use. Just gently step on the pedal like this and watch how softly it opens up. I really love that. And it also comes with an inner bucket that makes taking out your trash, you know, very, very easy and also less messy. All you need to do is put in your trash bag, you know, your regular trash bag. You don't need like a special type of trash bag for this product. Just put it back into the trash can and look at that. Everything is tucked inside. You don't see any bag hanging out at all. That makes it even more beautiful. I also just love to watch how softly it closes back. This eye touchless trash can comes with an odor filter. Yes, this will prevent your trash can, you know, from producing bad smell. It absorbs all the smell that can ever come out from your trash can. It is replaceable and it can last for at least three months. This is definitely an added bonus. It also comes in with an air damper. You guys, <laughs> yeah, this is what prevents the, the lid from slamming. You know that very bad sound? That your trash can makes yes this will prevent your trash can from making that sound it just keeps it new and you know nice for as long as you have it i am just so in love with this product you guys i can't say enough and the good news is they have different sizes of this eye touchless trash can on their website so make sure to use the link in my description box to check out the website and get all that products for yourself you can get you can get products for you know for your home for your offices get it as a present for someone i mean this thing is very stylish it is gorgeous and it is very very modern so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section so to make this beautiful and delicious Nigerian meat pie, there are two things we have to do first. We are going to make the filling for the meat pie and then we are also going to make the dough which is the main thing. So here is everything I'm going to be using for today's recipe which is our meat pie. I am going to leave a detailed list of all the ingredients used or mentioned in my description box so make sure to check it out. I'm going to start first by frying some onions and I'm using my coconut oil for frying 
and i'm using green onions also i just love green onions i don't know maybe because of the color but you can use any any onions of your choice after frying that for about 20 seconds i'm going to introduce my minced meat or minced beef yes i you can actually use uh, like chicken or turkey but i just love beef so i'm going to fry all that until it has this paled color and after that i am going to introduce my salt my seasoning powder i added a little bit of some black pepper i don't know just to give it more flavor okay and then i'm going to add my chopped carrot and my chopped potato and then i'll mix all of that together and then i'll add some water to enable the vegetables to cook very well Okay, now we are going to make a roux for the meat pie filling that we have already cooked. So this is two spoons of white all-purpose flour in a bowl and I added a little bit of water and as you guys can see, I am stirring to get this consistency which is not too thick and also not too watery. So after about three minutes of cooking, it is done. The vegetables are fully cooked. And I am going to add this into the meat pie filling, the vegetables, the meat, everything that has been cooking in the pot. And this is going to help to thicken the meat pie filling. Yes, it's going to help to bind everything together. It's going to add some moisture. It's also going to add some flavor. Yes. And I'm going to cover that and just leave it to continue to cook on very low heat. And now let's come to the dough. Let's start making the dough. So this is two cups of white all-purpose flour. I added some baking soda and just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to mix all of that using a spatula. And after that, I am going to introduce my butter. Yes, actually this is margarine. I'm using margarine for today's recipe. Okay, but if you have butter, you can use that so my hands are clean my hands are beautiful and yes i think your hands are the perfect tool to use for mixing this dough and i'm trying to create some bread crumbs here as you guys can see that is what this butter is going to help me achieve okay now i'm going to add some water to this so let me just grab a cup and get some get some water And I'm going to be adding this bit by bit, just a little bit. I don't need plenty of water for my meat pie. Okay, I just said I don't need plenty of water to make my meat pie. And that is very, very true. Water is one ingredient that is less required in making the dough for the meat pie. If you put too much water, it's just going to come out too watery, too flat. Like it, you're not going to be able to use it you know to make your meat pie so you want to add your water bit by bit and once you start getting that ball shape formed then you know you are done mixing so after some minutes of mixing with some very good energy we have formed a ball shaped dough a very beautiful shape by the way and it just looks like swallow i feel like i want to eat a bar right now <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to cover the bowl with uh, with a foil paper. You can also use like a plastic bag, which we call nylon, or with a pot cover. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it just rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, while we are waiting for, for the dough to relax in the fridge, I am going to move on to the other steps. And now I am just lining up my baking pan. I'm using a foil paper and a parchment paper. You can use the baking pan by itself. Just put some butter and it's, it's as good as using any other, you know, parchment paper or a foil paper. I'm also going to need one egg. I'm going to be using this when I am ready to form and close my, my meat pie. And also, I am going to turn on my, my oven. I'm preheating my oven. I'm setting it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is how hot it's going to be. It, is, it has been 20 minutes since my dough has been in the fridge and it is ready. So, yeah, it is. I just brought it out. And I am going to just beat it up a little bit before I start cutting it into making meat pie shape or meat pie form. Ok, 
okay guys we are finally ready to start making this meat pie shape yeah it's been taking forever so what i like to do is to cut out little little balls from that very big dough and then i'm going to use my rolling pin to start uh, flatten it out you know each one of the little balls i'll use my rolling pin to flatten it out like this and after you know getting a flat shape like this i'm going to set my rolling pin aside and then i will use something that has a very sharp edge a round uh object you know with a sharp edge if you have a pot cover you can use that if you have a meat pie cutter you can absolutely use that just make sure the edges of whatever round objects you are using is sharp and after getting a beautiful round circled shape like this you can remove the edges and then you put introduce your fillings so i'm using two tablespoons of the fillings that we made earlier and then around the edges of the inside of the meat pie like this i am going to put some some egg this is also going to help to seal it up and then i'm going to just close it up like this and then i will use my fingers to make sure the edges are well secured you don't want your meat pie opening up in the oven <laughs> that would be a disaster and after that i'm also going to use a fork to you know just create that beautiful meat pie design this is also a way of ensuring that the edges are well secured and lastly i am going to rub some of the egg just around it like this oh my god by the time this is done it's going to have a beautiful brown golden glazed color yeah so this is it you guys this is a beautiful meat pie shape and then i'm just going to put it on on the baking pan So here the meat pie is ready, it's ready to go into the oven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This last one always looks ugly <laughs> because it was all the, the leftovers added together to make one big meat pie like this. Okay, yeah, this is not for the show. <laughs> but yeah, I never ever throw any flour away, so yeah. Oh my god, it's very hot in there. All right, so. I'm gonna let this bake for 30 to 35 minutes. All right. This is the final look, guys. You see how beautiful that is? guys our meat pie is ready let me just let me bring one for you guys look at that whoo look at the smoke <laughs> smoking hot um uh, okay i'm gonna try this right now whoo oh my goodness hold on i had a bunch of, i kept I kept this kind of cook in the fridge, you know, just to enjoy this moment. Hi. Mmm. Mm. Ah. You know, this snack is one that you can enjoy with anything. Cold, chilled water, some soda. If you drink beer, good for you. But yeah, this thing is really good. I would love for you guys to try it out, okay? And let me know in the comment section if you did if you have never tried this snack before it's one snack that you're gonna love and it's just something you're gonna keep making for you your family you know friends any events okay so yeah it came out really good i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i really hope you did let me know in the comment section uh give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you have not you can always always share my videos okay i would really appreciate that Thank you guys so much. I can't wait to just sit down, relax, and enjoy my meat pie and my chilled Coke Zero. Look at it. It's Coke Zero, okay? We're not adding more calories here. Hmm. 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 Look at that smoke coming out.